Hello everyone and welcome to Intro to Power BI Embedded Analytics and APIs. My name is Amit Schuster, I'm a Product Manager for Power BI Embedded. Um, so let's get started. Um, today I'm going to show you an intro to Power BI. Uh, we're going to cover all the Power BI Embedded APIs, how to get started, and at the end we'll talk about licensing. So let's talk about Power BI. Power BI lets you experience your data, any data, anywhere, any way you want. So your data can be either on the cloud data or on-premises data and you connect it to uh, Power BI where you get all the um, services that Power BI gives you which can be template apps, uh, real-time dashboards and interactive reports uh, where you can slice and dice your data. Um, you also have support for natural language query, um, custom visualization that you can create yourself and, and the integration with Office. Um, from Power BI you can consume these reports or other items um, through the web in a mobile app. Um, you can export the data to Excel and you can also get it inside uh, your website or web application, um, which means to embed it in your application. Um, so let's talk about Gartner. You can see here the uh, Gartner Magic Quadrant uh, for analytics and business intelligence platforms. Um, this is from February 2020. Um, and you can see on the right um, upper side, Microsoft is a leader in the, in the analytics and BI platforms. So when you're, you want to get analytics in your application, you have two options. The first one is to build it. So you build your analytics solution. Um, this can take a lot of effort, a lot of resources, um, and you don't have all the advanced feature. Um, that you can get when you buy the best fit solution. So for example, if you get um, Power BI, you get all the features of Power BI inside your web application. Um, and why, why do you even need uh, embed analytics product? So well, let's talk about three uh, different things. So for your business, um, it gives you a faster time to market. You don't need to develop the things by yourself. Um, you can stand out like get the best analytics you can get today on the market um, and it can open new revenue streams for you um, if you're an ISV that's, uh, that uh, build other uh, companies and analytics solutions. For your developer it gives the uh, focus on your product. They don't need to build uh, the analytics solution, they just need to connect the data to an existing analytics solution um, and it also supports all kind of like and it also supports a library of APIs and SDKs. And for your customers, um, they can explore the data from any device, from their mobile, from their um, web uh, portal or application. Um, you can make decisions in context. So you can see the data and then take an action from the data itself. And you can keep the analytics inside the application. So you don't have to go, for example, to Power BI service, powerbi.com to consumer analytics. You can get it inside your application with Power BI Embedded. Um, so let's see what Power BI Embedded is. So what is Power BI Embedded? Power BI Embedded is built on decades of analytic expertise um, of Microsoft. It gives you total control of visuals and user experience. And if you're using the ISV scenario, which also called embed for your customers, um, your end users don't need any end user licensing. Um, it was built for software companies. And if you look on the right side, you can see um, the GIF of customer service insight, which I will show you live in a second. So let's go to this demo. Here you can see customer service inside sample environment. You can see the Power BI report embedded inside um, their application. We can switch between the tabs. For example, if I click here uh, to new cases and get the other uh, report page with the popular topics and emerging topics. What I can do here, I can right click and use all the Power BI uh, features, including uh, topic drill through. So if I'll click on topic drill through, You can see here all the details of the specific topics, um, including the topic case consumption, for example. Um, so this is actually a Power BI embedded reports embedded inside uh, Customer Service Insights web application. So this is what you can achieve with uh, Power BI embedded. So let's talk about the Power BI embedded API surface. 
Power BI APIs let you manage all your analytics objects, it let you get the reports, um, and you can also automate onboarding new customers, um, embed reports and dashboards, and, and get all the details from our um, APIs. Uh, we also have Azure APIs for automation that let you scale up and down the capacity and you can monitor the performance uh, using metrics and alerts and if your uh, capacity gets to some usage for example um, or the memory um, exceeds some limit that you set on, you, on the Azure alert you can scale it up and down. Um, and last we have the Power BI JavaScript API that lets you build your client-side integration um, and interaction and gives your users um, the best user experience. Um, this JavaScript API is used to embed uh, the report and also used to communicate between um, the Power BI report and your application. So what Power BI solutions do we have? We have Power BI.com, which is also called the Power BI service. We have Embed for your organization and Embed for your customers, which is our Power BI embedded main two scenarios. Um, and both of them are powered by the JavaScript SDK. Embed for your organization is when you're embedding for internal users. So all the users need to have um, Azure Active Directory uh, users and they use their own um, accounts to authenticate. So when we talk about embed for customers, we have one identity, which can be either a service principal or a master user, um, that manages um, the authentication for your end user and generate an embed token for each end user with his own uh, permissions and RLS rules, for example. Um, next, we have the URL embedding in the website or portal. Um, so this is also called uh, simplified embed and it just gives you um, an iframe code to embed in your uh, web application uh, where you have a sign-in button inside this uh, iframe and you don't need to work with code and so this is our uh, less code no code approach. Um, we also have the embed in SharePoint and Teams where you can just add a report uh, to SharePoint and Teams and now we also support embedding in Power Apps um, and for last we have the published web where you um, make your data public and everyone can um, access it. This is mostly used for journals. Um, so all the four that you can see, or five that you can see on the left side, um, requires end user authentication to Power BI. So as I mentioned, all the users are internal users um, who have AAD accounts. Um, and the other two embed for customers and published web uh, don't require your users to have um, end user license. So let's talk about typical SaaS applications. Each app drives a specific value for your users and analytics is most valued when integrated into an application workflow. So let's start from the data connectivity. This is what you can see at the bottom, the application storage. Um, so Power BI uh, supports over 100 data connectors. Um, we support uh, direct query, cached, uh, cached mode, uh, real time. Uh, you can, your data can be either in the cloud or on, on premises. Um, you can manage your data set and data sources uh, using our Power BI APIs. Um, and above that, we have the application. So the application lets you integrate your analytics uh, into your app logic um, and use the bi-directional API to increase engagement. So you can really work, uh, take actions from your data. So let's have a look at it. So this is the Power BI JavaScript API. Here on red, you can see uh, the iframe boundaries. Um, so this is the client application and this is the embedded report. Um, and as I mentioned before, this is the iframe boundary and the JavaScript API allows you by using events to communicate between the client application and the embedded reports. So the Power BI JavaScript API lets you communicate between your um, Power BI report and your application and you can listen to events and get uh, and, and take actions from your data. So let's have another demo um, where I show you the Power BI Embedded API surface. I'll show you the REST APIs and the try it option and the JavaScript uh, on the Power BI Embedded Playground. So let's have a look at the Power BI REST APIs. Um, here you can see all the different operation groups. And for example, if I'll go to uh, reports and then I go here to um, the API for um, get reports in group, 
you can see here I have the API documentation. If I go here and click on try it, I, here I do some sign in uh, for the service. You can, it's just an interactive sign in where you can choose your uh, user and all you need to provide here for the parameters is a group ID. So I'll go to Power BI, uh, this is my workspace and I'll just go here to the URL and copy from here the uh, workspace ID and if I'll click here on the group ID I'm getting here adding here the group ID that I just took and I'm clicking on run this will get me all the uh, reports that I have on this workspace so this is just one of the use of the REST APIs next we're going to talk about um, the uh, Power BI Embedded Playground. So the Power BI Embedded Playgrounds let you interact with different samples and see the all the client-side APIs that we support. So if I'll go here to the sample report, um, first I can choose if I want to see it in view mode, edit mode, or create mode. Um, so I'll just click run and run the code that let me embed uh, my Power BI report in view mode. And you can see that the report is now loaded um, at the bottom of this page. Um, and if I'll go here at the top uh, to the interact, I can see here all the different APIs that we support um, for the client side. So I can just go here and uh, choose um, filters and slicers, for example, and I can set slicer, sta set slicer state. Um, and when I click run, you can see that this slicer state was set to specific dates and all the data is filtered um, for the same uh, range of dates. We also have set of APIs, for example, to do some uh, report offering. So if I'll go to offering and choose uh, create visual and personalize, and then I can just click run, I get directed to a new page uh, where this visual is created. Um, and I can also change this visual type, for example, and add a new data field to this visual, all using our APIs. Um, another thing that we have here on the Power BI Embedded Playground is the showcases. And the showcases uh, show you some um, advanced use cases for our APIs. So for example, um, let's have a look at the Insight to Action. The Insight to Action showcase shows you how to leverage the menu extensions and export data APIs um, to get you the ability to take meaningful actions. Um, so here I have my report. Uh, I have all these slicers at the top where I can choose uh, which customers I want to target. So let's say I want to see all the people that uh, uh, spent between $100 to $300 and they did their uh, last purge um, at, let's say, 25 days to uh, 120 days. Um, so here I got this list of four uh, customers that I can now go to the options menu and here you can see the new uh, menu extension that we added here um, as part of Power BI Embedded. And when I click on this start campaign, what happens is that there is an event that lets me communicate with my application code and this will open a dialog. So this dialog is not part of Power BI uh, report anymore. This is just part of your application and you can have any logic that you like here. Here I just have these uh, customers where I can do a, uh, another uh, filtering of the customers for the customers uh, get all the details and then I can choose either to send a coupon or send a discount for them um, and this is just one example of the use cases of connect of insight to action so how do you start with Power BI Embedded first you need to create your analytics uh, this is done, by, is done by Analyst in Power BI Desktop, um, which is a free tool. Uh, next, you need to provision, you need to set up your embedded solution. Uh, you need to uh, create an app on Azure and give it the right permissions. Um, and after that, you need to uh, develop your application, which contains both the REST APIs and JavaScript APIs. So we have the server side where you use the REST APIs um, for your permission logic. For example, to get the reports, to get the embed URL, uh, to generate the embed token. And we have the JavaScript API, which lets you do the actual embedding of the iframe um, and all the interactions and APIs for your end users. After that, uh, when you need to deploy, 
uh, your solution. Um, you can uh, scale using capacities-based uh, licensing uh, where your application is getting to the end users in your website and portal. So let's talk about no end user licensing. Uh, when you're embedding for your customers, um, you don't need, your customers don't need end user licensing. As I mentioned before, uh, you can use one identity, which is either a master user or a service principal um, to uh, get the analytics to your end user. So the creation and development testing is free. You have a free trial for embed uh, tokens um, on the Azure services. When you get an A capacity, um, you can pause and resume it and, and it's flexible and you only pay by the hour. So if it was, uh, so it's starting from about uh, $1 an hour to $32 per hour um, and you can scale between the capacities according to your demand. So if you have a peak hour and there is a lot of customers that using the reports, you can see the metrics and you can scale your uh, capacity up um, so everyone will get the best service um, and it's bring your own authentication so you can use any authentication that you like um, so the customer like your end user is connecting to your application based on your authentication and then based on on the identity of this user you generate the appropriate embed token for him so let's talk about licensing power bi capacities um, is a dedicated resources that you need when you move to production and you want your end user to consume um, the analytics. So we have the A SKUs, EM SKUs and P SKUs. Um, and let's see the difference between these SKUs. So um, the A SKUs you can buy on Azure and the other two SKUs, EM and P, um, you buy on Office. Um, the A SKUs are using to embed content in your application, uh, which is the embed for your customers where the EM SKUs and P SKUs can be used uh, to share content with Power BI uh, free users. So it can be used for embed for your organization. Um, the main difference between these uh, offering is that the billing for A SKUs is hourly and you don't have any commitment. Where on EM SKUs and P SKUs you have either a monthly or yearly commitment um, and they're not flexible. So you can't scale them up and down. Uh, where on the A SKUs you can scale them up and down, you can pause and resume them, and all is done through the Azure portal or our APIs. Um, so uh, Power BI Embedded ASQs uh, pricing starts from seven, $750 uh, dollars per month uh, or about uh, $1 per hour. Um, you can see here all the SKUs starting from A1 to A6 and how many virtual cores and memory you get um, for each of the SKUs. Uh, this can also be found in our documentation. Um, and here uh, you have some of the developer resources that can be uh, really useful for you. Uh, the link to the developer center, uh, developer documentation, Power BI Embedded Playground that I just showed you, um, our samples uh, where you can start by downloading a sample and ju just insert your um, workspace ID, report ID, um, your tenant, um, your application ID, and, and you can get uh, application secret and just get up and running really quickly. Um, we have here the link to our JavaScript uh, wiki, uh, our REST API documentation, and our onboarding tool. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this session. Um, I was Amit, um, and this was Power BI Embedded and APIs. Thank you very much.